Hello everyone, welcome back to my Robot Center. My name is Virtuville, and today I am reviewing the giant version of your favorite hex bug, the spider. Woo! And some of you may or may not know, but I really do not like spiders. So you're probably thinking, why'd you get this? Well, first off, I love robots, and this isn't a creepy looking spider. There's no fur on it, there's no eyes, it is basically just this little robot body and some legs that look close to a spider. That's all I see it as. And if you're thinking I'm going to put up a picture of a spider on screen, I won't do that to you guys because I know some of you were probably afraid of spiders also. I can't even go look at, at an image on Google for a spider, so I couldn't even pop up one on image if I wanted to. So you all, you are all safe. Don't worry about it. But yes, this is the Hexbug version, and this is the giant one. They have smaller versions of not only this one, but other ones and also giant versions of other ones. I think there's like a beetle one maybe. So it's a seven way radio control spider, or I'm just gonna say robot, I have the box right here. It says XL on the box. I'm just gonna show the box real quick. I got this from Toys R Us. Actually, I don't know. I saw it in Toys R Us, I believe. That's not, where I, that's not where I got it from. It was a birthday or Christmas present, I forget. But here's all the information and it comes in a box like this, I believe, unless you get it in some other box, but who knows. And it's 360 steering. You guys don't know, that's basically like all the way around in a circle. So we're gonna get a little close up here. You see there's some frequencies. I can't get too close because then the camera get blurry. I don't want that to happen. So there's zero, one, and two. Same thing on the robot. The robot takes about three, three AA batteries. And this probably takes two AA batteries. That's my best guess. Oh, no, 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 it takes the square one. Right here. I know it's blurry, but this is just so you guys can see it. It's the square one. I forget what it's called. I think it's a D. Yeah, it's mm, D. Okay, but now this thing is, it's a pretty decent size. I mean, this is my hand. Then again, my hand, you guys don't know what size my, size my hand is, but it's definitely smaller than a cat, but it's still a pretty good size. I, mean, I don't know what to use as a reference, but anyway, we're gonna skip past that. I'm going to, there's no free mode, but oh, my, by the way, I love how you can see inside the remote controller. You guys can't see it that well, but I'll pu put an image on screen, but you can see inside the remote, there's like the computer chip and the wires and stuff. Same thing for the robotic spider. There we go. Now, I'm going to turn zero is off, by the way, so I'm turning it on, there's a red light now, and I'm turning this on. The battery should still work. I turned it all. I turned it all the way. But we're gonna go to um, the two frequency, and let's see. Yep. So you guys just saw a little bit of what the next video is gonna be, or depending on which one. Oh, okay. So this right here controls forward and backwards. This one should control steering, but it's not working. So I'm gonna need to switch this one to the second frequency and it's not gonna work. No matter what I do, this robot's not gonna move because on the first frequency now, not the second one. So I need to switch this one over if I can uh, do it. Okay, now it's on the first one. It's still not turning. Gotta admit, it's been a while. That is a little creepy. I think my batteries are probably low. Maybe that's why it's not working. Now the cool thing is, as you can see, I can push it all the way this way or all the way this way. Uh, we're just gonna say left and right at the moment. So all the way right or all the way left. That controls the speed. So if I just do a little bit, he'll go slow. Let's do it uh, this way. We can go really fast. Ow, oh, that's my hand. That is my hand. <laughs> so then let's see if I can go really fast. Yeah, somewhat. And I got this in probably 2012, if not 2013. Uh, I actually haven't seen any Hex Plus commercials, but again, I don't watch a lot of TV, so maybe there's some commercials out there. But Hexbox has a lot of bugs. They're, they're having some in McDonald's Happy Meals. And to make those move, you just need to touch their antennas. 
My brother had one that kind of broke, so oh well, but... <laughs> Then they have like the small little rectangular ones that just kind of go all over the place. I never uh, didn't have that one because at the moment I I wasn't in hex hexbugs. I was just like eh, I don't really want. But then when this robotic robot came out, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, it's a robot. It's an RC robot. Because the thing is, my brother or my flight aka okay, Cody always had RC cars. So when an RC robot and a really high tech one came out, I was like. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is my chance to have a robot, or a RC, which stands for remote controller, of something I like. So as you can tell, I was very happy. Now again, with all the things, I wouldn't recommend carpet, but here's the difference. Okay, the ones I've shown you all had wheels, or some sort of motor that could get caught, or it just wouldn't work on the carpet. This one you can do on carpet because there's no wheels. It's simply just like sticks on the ground. So it's like do do. It's like this. It's like me doing this. So that shouldn't hurt because I'm just doing this. Ooh, moonwalk. Do 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 do. No no no. But if it was a wheel, it could spin up the hair and get caught and then stop working. But this is just you know simply doing this, moving around. So it should be okay. But here's the thing. Sorry. There is this right here which helps it move. Let's get inside that. There's this little motor. So if any hair does get caught in there, I assume it would uh, stop it, but the thing is it goes up and down, it's not round, so you have less chance of that. And it, whoop. And it is high off the ground. Whoa. It's, it's high enough. It's high enough off the ground to where no hair should get in there. So it, it is okay to put it on carpet, but I still don't recommend it just for safety reasons. Because hair, getting the hair out of there is painful. Uh, parents, if you're watching this, or just adults who may have grandchildren, ne nephews and nieces and all that. Uh, have you ever had to, you don't have a vacuum. When you're vacuuming carpets, have sometimes has your, <laughs> words. Has the vacuum roller had so much hair that you actually had to cut it or something so it would keep working again? If you have, you know what I'm talking about, it would be like that for an RC if any hair got caught in the wheels. It'd be very hard and it's on a smaller scale. I mean a really, really small scale. So just a warning, make sure kids know, do not put certain things on the carpet. RCs is a big thing to not put on the carpet, but this one I said it should be okay because there's no hair should get on there unless it falls over and it starts like moving on the carpet but it won't be able to do that so yeah I still, I still think it's really cool it's not that creepy so if you have kids that are into bugs or trying to get into bugs or they like robots but they don't like spiders this is okay for all those types of people because like I said it's not creepy unless they're afraid of the movements now that, of course, bothered me for a while. Not with the robot, but the movement of anything. Like if it was a game and I saw a mob or a monster or a player who was had that many legs and it was moving like that, uh, it would creep me out a lot. It was just, ugh. But this doesn't freak me out. So I'm, I'm getting better, but I'm still not gonna have a pet spider or anything, I just, no. Also, do not comment any spider-related things in the comments, any images or anything like that. I will remove the comment. That is just a warning, because I just don't like spiders. I'm sorry. I really don't. <laughs> so let's just see the movement one more time. I can't turn his head. I'm not sure why. It's probably low on batteries. If you realize in these in these um, robot videos I'm doing, they're still being they're still blah 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 blah. I can still turn them on and they work fine, you know. Some toys, when you haven't play, play with them for a while, you find out, oh, I didn't change the battery when it died. It just sat there all these years, no battery life. That's not me and my brother. We let our toys... I mean, yeah, it's still bad that some of the toys sit there, but they have battery life in them. So I think he's lowering battery because I can't make his head turn. But his head does turn. I'm fortunately turning it. I wouldn't recommend this. But I'm... Yeah. So you turn his head and he can go in all directions. So for example, if I was doing the back motion while holding this, it's not working. But he could start turning and all that. So it's really cool. It's really cool. He can, he can go pretty much anywhere. I think I even took it outside once and put it on the concrete. 
So it's it's okay for that too. Just make sure no rocks get in the motors or anything. So I wouldn't recommend like trying to climb up oh, a hill of rocks or pebbles or don't throw anything at it either. If any of you are watching, I wouldn't recommend that. So yeah, actually in, in general, take care of your toys. Just take care of them. Use common sense, common sense, okay? A rock or anything will break the motor. Common sense, don't do it. <laughs> so I think that's everything for now. I will leave a link in the description below for the Hexbuzz bug website or just the robot in general or both. It all depends if the website is still up or not. I'm not sure. But yes, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did making this. Make sure you like, comment, and share. It helps me a lot. It supports my channel. And I appreciate it. I really do. It's awesome. And also make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this and many others. Science videos in general, but yes. So I will see you all later. Virtuvel, logging out.